I've been thinking about this recently because I got a Wii U, and it reminded me of what, you know, before the Switch came out, people were just like, oh, because of the Wii U, N Nintendo's going to become like Sega and become a third party on the side. No, that's never going to happen. But, that did get me think thinking. Out of the big three, Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft, who, if any of them, who would become, uh, you know, who would lose, who could... Who is the most likely to become a third party developer like Sega? Now, a lot of people may be thinking, you know, off the top of their heads, Nintendo. They're the only one of the three whose sole income basically comes from uh, the video games and merch based off the video games. So, they're probably the most, uh, you know, they're probably the ones that are the most uh, likely to. Uh, you know, become third party developers because, you know, if they take too big a hit on one console. Well, it is true, Sony and Microsoft do have uh, um, uh, other departments that um, earn their money, such as, like, Microsoft runs Windows 10. Like, the most common, you know, thing for your computer to run your computer on, and uh, they make a whole bunch of other technology stuff. And they're pretty big in, you know, even outside of the gaming community, outside of gaming. Uh, Sony not so much, I mean, so far I know they just sort of exist. Like, their products sort of exist and their products are good quality, but they don't make them a lot of money. So far I know. But, there is one of Sony's, uh, um, you know, um, sister company, you know, one of Sony, one of Sony's departments that would could actually make them, you know, lose them so much money that they may or at least take a hit in the console war, and that is Sony Pictures. Cause, right, if you don't know much about movies, because this is more of a video game thing, Sony Pictures. They made the Emoji movie. Enough said. Um, but yeah. It's... Uh, usually if you hear, like, Sony Pictures turning a, pro a um, profit, that's usually an achievement for them, turning a profit. And I definitely... I, I know I'm exaggerating a little bit here, but... Sony... Just so, Sony Pictures are just the worst. Like... Yeah, they. If anything happened, like I've, I've, and the, the, to be honest, a lot of people will say the only reason why Sony Pictures even stays afloat is thanks to um, the uh, console side, and that's probably true of the rest of Sony as well. Um, so let's say Sony Pictures makes several movies that lose um, a ton of money, like a like a serious amount of money. Obviously, they're going to eventually close Sony Pictures, but who's going to be paying all that money? That's going to be the rest of Sony, including the console side. And depending on how much money they lose, it could be enough, theoretically, to um, make Sony console side only become a third party developer because they've lost so much money thanks to Sony Pictures that they, that uh, you know, a bad console release would probably kill them. Especially, and imagine this, imagining this happening while Sony is suffering with a bad console, which could uh, look to be the, be what happens the next um, generation if their um, cockiness continues on into the start of the next generation and uh, do what they did uh, with the PlayStation 3 and just put it out there and just think, well the PlayStation 4 did uh, well enough, everybody will buy the PlayStation 5, we don't even have to try. Um, if, you know, if they have a hit as big as, like, PlayStation 3 and Sony Pictures just loses, loses a ton of money, then I can definitely see that them becoming a third party developer. Um, now, here's, here's why I see them more likely than Nintendo. They're both Japanese-based companies. 
Nintendo is currently the biggest Japanese, you know, the richest and biggest uh, Japanese co Japan based company. So it can take a bigger hit than Sony itself. So, you know, s Nintendo can lose more money than Sony. And Microsoft, well, Microsoft is just. It's not Disney level, like, insanity with how much money they have, but. It, it, they have just so much money. I can't, I can never see. Microsoft or Nintendo really going out of the console games, you know, get becoming a third party de developer. But if the stars align against Sony, then I can definitely see Sony becoming a third party developer. Be you know, if they make too many shitty movies that just lose a shit ton of money and um, they make a shitty console at the same time. Um. But remember, this isn't me saying this is likely going to happen or um, definitely going to happen. I'm just saying this is one possibility that this is my, in my opinion, the most likely possibility out of the out of the big three for any of them, you know, becoming a third party developer. Especially right now with uh, uh, Nintendo um, selling uh, Nintendo Switches uh, like uh, uh, like their hotcakes. Well, actually, like the hot cross buns in the middle of winter in the middle of London. That's how well switches are selling. Um, mind you, I would like more amiibos. I, I, I really want more, more amiibos. Like seriously, Nintendo, me, amiibo me. Like just, just release a um shy guy amiibo. amiibo. I, I, I would buy that. Just release all the amiibos. Like you have no reason to not release every amiibo you can. Like King K K K K K K K K. King K Rool, release an amiibo of him. He's coming to Smash. Release King K Rool amiibo, and I think there's already a Ridley amiibo. Um, Isabel amiibo. I think that actually exists. I'm probably gonna see if I can get that. Hmm. But yeah, like I said, out of the big three, Sony, if the stars align against them, they are the most likely to. Go into third party developing. Mind you, this is based in like one generation. This is if this this is in a one console generation period. If Nintendo made several bad consoles as well as Microsoft and Sony the, over several generations, then of course any of them would be. But within one generation, we're talking here, like um, of it because you know it, it just we it would just be too easy to just be like okay. In say that say Nintendo made ten bad consoles, they'd probably uh, go into third party developing or Sony. You know, it would it really wouldn't be fair because we would have to guesstimate how much each console cost cost them to develop and games and marketing and how much money they currently have and how much money those consoles would make and or how much they would lose. So that would just go too much into theorycraft and we're talking about one generation here and in one generation I could definitely see Sony well no, I can't I can't see them doing that because I don't think like I know Sony Pictures is bad but I don't think they're gonna make that many movies in a row that are that bad actually they are making those Spider-Man movies with, outside of the Spider-Man universe so yeah and the effects I will admit like um, I don't like the new Venom suit but I can admit that the effects uh, look pretty good. I like it can't fully persuade me to think it's real, but I can definitely tell that they, that's a lot of time and money gone into them. So if they flop, if they, if they bomb and the PS5 bombs, then I can definitely see Sony going into third party developing. Anyway, tell me what you think down in the comment section below. Do you which um which one of the big three can you see? Can you see going becoming a third party developer within one generation? One console generation. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye.